Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to what is the opening day of the 16th European Championships. 55 UEFA member states tried their hand at becoming the finest of them all. Now we are left with the 24 who have made it to these finals. Opening day certainly has a special feel to it. The atmosphere, combustible but joyous, as we usher in a new era for this competition, together with the hopes and aspirations of all that take part. Worth reminding ourselves, too, that 2020 is the 60th birthday of these championships, and it is for that special reason that the competition is being held right across the continent. This place simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. Quite some performance, and now here comes the response. So it is upon us, their opening game, and what they hope will be the first of many fine games in this championship. All I hope is that these nations, as well as the players, of course, can make a good account of themselves. And I also like the fact that such excitement isn't just something that one host country has the monopoly of. It's shared by so many people across the continent, literally, and that certainly created a, an extra special buzz. If you're just joining us, we are already on the way. Oh, nice touch. Time to deliver. Berghaus. That's a look and place it in. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Now it's Konoplyanka. Patrick van Arnholt. Memphis Depay. Berghaus. Van der Beek. He's got away. Memphis Depay. The Netherlands seem happy to let their strikers roam out wide. I wouldn't want that. No? No, well, my worry is that their, their main threat is being shifted out of contention. Looking crossfield, changing the point of attack. Bujalski. And it's Konoplyanka. It's Konoplyanka! A finish of true class. There is the breakthrough. You play a really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter attacking heaven. Ukraine get themselves into the lead. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. Memphis Depay. Oh, that is lovely footwork. It's a good run down the right. Where could this lead? Van 
the beak! Blint. Blint drives it forward. Van der Beek. Berghaus. Lovely feet. He's making good use of his strength there. Just refuses to be out-muscled. Koroplianka, who's made his mark on this game. Gets wrestled off the ball. Wijnaldum very firm in standing his ground there. It is a tough full-contact contest. Van der Beek. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Played into space out wide. Oh, that's nice. Plenty waiting in the middle. And it's Bujelski. Yarmolenko. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. It's Yarmolenko! That has certainly tested the keeper. Yarmolenko sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. Tries a shot! Oh, what a wonderful stop! Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Knocks it away. Bujalski, Yarmolenko. Oh, good interception. And back to base. Zurt gets it upfield. I have to say, that was an exemplary. And that will be the last act of the first half. So there you have it, a close sport half of football. But Robert still had its moments and ultimately produced just one goal. More than decent game up to now. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Ukraine are going to have the lead in a tight old game. Half-time, 1-0. That's the start of the second half. Ukraine really need to go and, and grab another goal now, Peter, if they're going to go on and secure this. The Netherlands are looking strong on the break. Winning the ball in midfield is one thing, but it's the clever use of counter-attacking. That's the real highlight. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Look, get your seatbelts on because this is showing all the signs of another roller coaster ride. Yarmolenko. Bujalski. Good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Oh, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. And it's Wijnaldum.
Koroplianka plays it forward. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, the idea was right. The delivery wasn't. They can revisit that further on. Van der Beek! And that wasn't far away. Look, I'm sure he'll deny it, Peter, but the keeper didn't have that covered. And helps available out wide. Berghaus. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Striding forward, facing goal. Can he get the shot up? Has a goal! Goal, Ukraine! And again they hit the front. The keeper deserves some sympathy there. He may not have seen that until too late. Well, this is what we've been waiting for. Finaldum. Van Dijk. And he's shown him a... He's won up! It's Koropienko! Back of the net! Two to the good! They have breathing space! And as soon as they made that error in midfield, they didn't have time to react before the ball hit the net. Very much a lesson learned. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. So the lead now is two. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. What a ball this is to... Van der Beek! Oh, just fizzes past the post. That's just plain unlucky. There were many, me included, who thought that was going in. And that's a throw. Patrick van Arnholt. Berghaus. Well, the crowd clearly liked what they just saw. Some real no-nonsense defending. Foot in. Now, can he capitalise? Oh, shooting chance! Urge to shoot, and he duly delivered. And that's what the game is all about. Find space and finish, but we have to credit the pass to, to pick him out. So now the difference is three. Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them, and they're starting to look unstoppable. There could be more on the way. Patrick van Arnholt. Berghaus just brushed off the ball there. Koroplianka concedes a free kick for that. <laughs> and it's Memphis Depay. Memphis Depay gets it out to the wing. Chance! No, not quite. The Netherlands are really feeling the strain now. Impatience has taken charge. And they've been caught out here. No complaints about that challenge. Robust but fair. Goes down, but nothing given. Blint. 
Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Ball's loose, who's getting there? He's on his way. In with the challenge. Konoplyanka. And it's Konoplyanka. Blint. Berghaus gets into some space. Ake. Berghaus. Yeah, he's fouled him there. Some of them aren't happy with that challenge and they're getting involved. Steady. Play for a goal kick. De Ligt does well there, alert. Promes. That's surely a foul free kick. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. been intercepted and that will come to nothing tried to play it through yeah I mean he, I think he did well to, to spot the run he just didn't get enough behind it it happens and here's the pie hoist it forward van der Beek with a delicate ball it's the goalkeepers to claim. Van Dijk gets into the right position to intercept. They get a throw in. Ake tries to get it forward quickly. Blint. Van der Beek, who does have an assist to his name. And it's Memphis to Pie. Loose ball, who's going to get there? Yarmolenko. And the referee brings it to a close. Pretty much the ideal start. A win on the first day and a platform on which to build. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Well, they've laid down a marker with such a good opening win and they're saying to the rest of the group, we're intent on championships. A special anniversary edition, in fact, games held across multiple nations, a true pan-European tournament that is a reflection of the pan-European nature of the game. And this is where it all starts for them. Eleven players, many of them friends, some foes during the league season, now united for a single cause as they carry the hopes and expectations of a nation in this grand quadrennial event. Ahead of us, a month of non-stop adrenaline rush. I trust you are strapped in comfortably for what will be, at least for partisan parties, the most unbearable, thrilling of emotional roller coasters. This place, simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. Here it is then, the first page of the first chapter of this special tournament. All I hope is that these nations, as well as the players of course, can make a good account of themselves. And I also like the fact that such excitement isn't just something that one host country has the monopoly of. It's shared by so many people across the continent, literally, and that certainly created a, an extra special buzz. 
And as you can see, we've already started here. Jim, which player is best? To... And the finish! And it's a goal! What a start. And what a contribution from the main man. I had a feeling he might do something, given his reputation, but to do it like that, absolutely brilliant. I wasn't expecting that. There was to be only one outcome. Yeah, and he knew all along what he wanted to do, and it's a really great instinctive finish. Austria have an early lead. Good start. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Alaba. Just brushed off the ball there. And here's Arnautovic. Can he deliver? That's a good block, but at the expense of a corner. Tries to get it forward quickly. Oh, that's clearly not what he wanted to do. Alaba. Alaba not easily shrugged off the ball. Played into the middle. Well, when the options aren't quite present in the box, it's the crosser's interest to, uh, to hold on for the support. Bit of an appeal, but nothing doing. Down by a lack of accuracy. And it's Alaba. Oh, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. And they've been caught out here. Anatovic showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball but couldn't quite sort it out. Hoists it forward. Driving on now, what can they conjure from here? Has a hit! He's done very well to get to that. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. And that's been levered clear. Gets into a dangerous position. And it's been taken straight back. Alaba. Alaba brings the ball forward. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. And the defence can get it clear. Now it's Pandev. Elmas spreads it towards the left. What an adventurous run from a defender. He's had a go! And it's played forward. Austria really are almost trying to pass the ball through a brick wall at the moment. You can see the sense of anxiety has, has now shifted to the stands. And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. Gets it upfield. Elmas, Elmas goes looking. 
approach for goal. And that's caused a worry or two. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work up. A poorly directed kick from the keeper. He's given it away. It's being played forward. And it's Tandev. Crunching tackle. And they're not going to make any further progress now. Done very well to intervene. And that's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. Forward it goes. Down part linger. Brought forward. Going for goal! And the referee brings the first half to a close. So there you have it. A close sport half of football. But still had its moments. And ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well. There's good movement off the ball. The passes are sticking. No one's afraid to have a go. Austria are in at half time with a slender one goal lead. And the game has already resumed here. Austria carrying a one goal lead. Alaba. Clears it out of harm's way. It's out for a goal kick. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Tries to get it forward quickly. Baumgart linger. And it's Alaba. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. Arnautovic. Arnautovic was alert to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. Hoists it forward. Alaba. Wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Now it's Pandev. Elmas plays it out to the wing. Oh, what a ball! Tries a shot! Well, this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. And here's Arnautovic. Good challenge, he just stood firm. And it's played forward. Well played, he saw that coming. Baumgart linger, goes looking. Oh, it's a oh, shooting chance! Alioski goes upfield. Tries to get it forward quickly. has got good distance on that. He's left his man. Aimed in towards the centre. And he's certainly caught him there, it's a free kick.
They're looking at the referee, but he's waved play on. Gets it into the middle. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Pandev. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Corner then. Time for a change in personnel. Cuts it back. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Oh, the ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Austria are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Lovely feet. Elmas. Forward it goes. And he has been fouled there. Alioski plays it forward. And it's Alaba. Has a goal! Well, that wasn't too dissimilar to the previous attempt. This is proving to be a very good spell. The intensity is great, but uh, they've got to make it count. And that has been clubbed away. Alaba. to challenge what's he giving and the referee has given a free kick just outside the box and looking to play it into the box Elmas and that will be the final act pretty much the ideal start a win on the first day and a platform on which to build how do you look back on the game then Jim Listen, ideally, any new campaign needs a start that puts three points on the board and it's mission accomplished. Nothing too fancy was required, just a, a good solid team display for me.